as a teacher, you might want to hand some work in on behalf of a student for any reason. Um, a student might not be able to um, use the hand in folder or uh, uh, there might be some other reason they might be able to hand it to you on a USB or email the piece of work to you but not be able to use the hand in folder. Um, if that's the case it's quite simple for you to hand the piece of work in on their behalf. Uh, all you need to do is go to the appropriate hand in folder and select the student the student's name who you wish to hand the work in on their behalf. So I'm going to hand it in on behalf of my test student and right down the bottom of the class list is a link or a um, function to hand in on behalf of. So you've selected the student, you hand in on behalf of, their name appears here and it's just a matter of browsing the computer for the appropriate task. Now that may be saved onto your desktop, um, uploaded. You can then, once you've saved that, you can then delete it from your desktop because it's now saved in the Fronter um, database and you can see now there that my test student has handed in a piece of work. It just so happens that the test student has handed in a piece of work previously named the same thing. Fronter will automatically name that document with a one in front of it. If I were to hand the same document in again it would name it two, etc, etc. You can see that the student has had that piece of work assessed and they may have made a change and handed it in again. So that's a very valid uh, possibility. Quite simple to hand in on behalf of the student and that is um, how to do it.